Hey, this is Cameron with First Draft Book Bar inside of Changing Hands Phoenix. I'm the lead beer buyer here, and I'm here to talk about my six-pack pick for the month of May. So I'm gonna be starting from lighter beers and working our way up towards more dark beers, more sour beers, more of your kind of relax. I'm, it, I'm in for the evening. Let's start with a local favorite of ours from the Shop Brewing Company. This is Crispy Lager. It's a blonde lager. I really like to have this with like a lunch on a, on a day off or uh, just kind of a nice patio or by the pool sort of beer. If you're looking for something with a little more of a flavor to it, some kind of coffee notes, something similar to what you would maybe be drinking here at the bar. We've got this great beer from Flying Bassett Brewing Company. It's Alchemist Breakfast, which in addition to having an amazing can design and a great name, it's just such a tasty beer. You've got a uh, little Sir Isaac Newton on here brewing up his, uh, his little special beer. And this is a coffee blonde ale. So. You've got a uh, blonde ale conditioned on local coffee beans from Alchemist Roasters. And this is like great for, for your coffee drinker, for someone who's looking for something that's light, easy drinking, but doesn't want to go all the way to like a coffee stout. Moving on to my favorite beer that we have in our cold case from Renhouse Brewing Company right here out of Phoenix, Arizona, is Spellbinder. This beer recently took home the gold medal at the Great American Beer Fest for 2020. We have plenty of this beer in stock, and if you are an IPA fan or a hazy IPA fan like I am, just know that this is gonna be a new favorite. Then we've got a beer from one of the classic breweries in the uh, craft brewery scene. This little beer is a seasonal release from Bell's Brewing Company. It's a tart ale brewed with passion fruit and lime. It's Flamingo Fruit Fight. And this beer is great, again, for sipping on the patio, sipping by the pool, or just, you know, relaxing inside on a weekend. You could even add a little slice of lime in there. And this has just got a little bit of that nice fruit flavor, a little kind of saltiness to it. Not quite a goza, not quite a sour, but again, a good introduction to that sort of style. Moving on to something a little darker, we've got this beer from Parish Brewing Company. It's Rev, their coffee stout brewed with beans from Rev Roasters, also out of Louisiana. This beer is nice, dark, thick, creamy, almost like drinking like milk chocolate. Something that's gonna have you slow down a little bit, really think about what you're reading, think about what you're drinking. I recommend pairing it with Ted Chang's Exhalation, a short story collection from a couple of years ago that has become one of my favorites, and I think it will become one of your favorites as well. Now we've got one of the most iconic sours in the game right now. This is Duchess de Bourgogne. It is a Flanders red ale. So it's gonna be tart. It's gonna have notes of like apple cider vinegar on the nose. It's gonna be a little more sour than what you might be used to if you're not particularly into the sour style. This beer is one that I'd recommend pouring into a snifter or even a wine glass and kind of slow enjoying, really enjoying the, the different notes of it. It's almost gonna be like drinking kombucha or a natural red wine. So this has been my six pack pick for the month of May. And let's, let's hear about what you're drinking right now. What are you reading right now? You can hit us up on social media at First Draft Bar on Twitter or at First Draft Book Bar on Instagram. You can catch any of these beers right here in our cold case. We're also available to order online for curbside pickup from firstdraftbookbar.com, where you can read more of our staff recs and reviews. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, like the video if you liked it, and we will catch you next month.